All right. Good afternoon and welcome to Master Talker Online Class. Today we'll be talking about polar form of a complex number. Okay. Uh, the the Cartesian form of a complex number. Um, the Cartesian form said that z is equal to x plus what i y. Why the polar form? The polar form says that z is equal to what r in bracket of what cos theta plus i sine theta. Okay, which is something as saying um, r e raised to power what i theta because e raised to power i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sine theta. Okay, so to get your polar form, you just need two things get your r which is called the modulus okay and then your your theta which is called the argument once you can find these two things you have gotten your polar form so let's continue with this so i have that uh, this is equal to what one one plus i root three which means that uh, x is equal to one and y is equal to what root three okay so to find our argument the uh, modulus the modulus 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 which is equal to r r is your modulus which is equal to what the square root remember pythagoras theorem the square root of x squared plus y squared so i'm going to have the square root of one squared plus root three all squared which is equal to what the square root of one plus three which is equal to what the square root of four which is what two i have got my modulus to be two so the next thing i'm going to get is my my argument okay to get my argument theta you must draw it first you have to draw it in the cartesian plane okay if you draw it in the cartesian plane you are having that um, you should be having you should be having here is plus positive y negative y positive x negative x so this is one at the positive for sorry y is root three for the positive y x is one for the positive so positive meeting positive you see that they met at the first quadrant and you should know that first quadrant is what anything that falls from zero to ninety second quadrant is from zero to one eighty okay third quadrant is one eighty to two seventy y fourth quadrant is two seventy to three sixty but please in your calculation never you use seventy for your calculation uh, two seventy for your calculation always use 180 or or what or 360 we don't use 90 and we don't use 270 we don't use these two we only use these two for our calculation so but anything i'm getting i will check if it falls within that quadrant so since this one is in the first quadrant anything i'm getting for argument must fall within that first quadrant so my argument argument which is something as what which is equal to theta is equal to what uh tan inverse tan inverse of y over x Sometimes I used to get confused if it is x over y or y over x. But if I remember dy dx, I will know that y will stay up and then x will stay down. So I'm having that theta is equal to what? Tan inverse of my y is root 3 all over my x is 1. So I'm having theta is equal to tan inverse of what? Root 3. So my theta is equal to what? My theta is equal to uh, 60. Okay, press it in your calculator tan inverse of root 3 is 60 because tan 60 is root 3 degrees, okay? So sometimes, your answer will not be in degrees. It will be in radian. So we need to change it to pi. So how do you change it to pi? You will say, um, okay? You will just say uh, 60 divided by 180 times pi. Because pi is 180. 180 divided by 180 is gone. So we have the what? the 60 here so my answer should be equal to zero cancel zero um six cancel one six cancel three times six eighteen three so my answer is what pi over three okay so i have gotten my my theta so therefore my polar form the polar form is simply z is equal to what what's my r from here z is equal to what r is what two brackets cos 60 plus what i sine 60 which is the step now saying what 2 e raised to power what 60 i okay or you say that z is equal to 2 bracket what cos pi over 3 plus i sine pi over 3 
okay, which is equal to say what? Two e raised to the power what? Three i, uh, three pi. What am I saying? Sorry, pi over three, pi over three i. Okay, so your answer can be in this form, or this form, or this form, or this form, depending on what you have in your option. Okay, so the next one, number two. I'm going to show you for all the quadrants. So this is the first quadrant we just saw. For, for second quadrant, we're going to use the same question, but the one that will fall in different uh, quadrants. So for the one that will fall in second quadrant, it means that x is going to be minus. So I'm going to have find the polar form of minus 1, blah, blah, blah. So solution, first of all, the Cartesian plane, which is z is equal to what? x plus what? y i but the polar form say that z is equal to what r bracket what cos theta plus what i sine theta which is that as saying r e raised to the power what i theta okay so let us go the first thing we need to find is our r our r which is the modulus sometimes they can ask you to find only the modulus so the modulus which is what r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared okay so if you compare my x is now minus 1, Why my y is to 3. So I'm having that r is equal to the square root of minus 1, all squared, plus root 3, all squared. So what am I having? I'm having a root 4, which is what? 2, okay? This is 1 plus 3, 4. So I'm having this. So the next thing I'm going to do is to find my argument. But before finding my argument, I must draw it to know whether, to know where it falls. Okay, so if I draw, this is my plus y minus y plus x minus x. So minus x is here, so minus 1. Plus y is here, root 3. So if you join both of them, they are meeting at the second quadrant. So anything I'm, got, I'm getting for my theta must fall from, be, must be greater than 180, uh, uh, must be greater than 90, but less than 180. Okay, so because second quadrant is from uh, 90 to 180, so I'll say that what that uh, my theta is equal to what, which is the argument. Sorry, I'm looking for my argument. My argument is equal to theta, which is equal to what tan inverse of what y over x. Okay, so my theta is equal to tan inverse of what is my y? My y is uh, root 3 all over minus 1. Okay, which is what tan inverse of a minus root 3. But don't forget that tan is an odd function. Only cos is an even function. What do I mean by that? Sine minus theta is the same thing as bringing the minus outside. Minus sine theta. Because sine is an what? Is an odd function. But cos is even. Cos minus theta is the same as saying just cos theta without the minus. Why? Because it is the only even function we have. So the next one is what? Tan, theta, sorry, tan minus theta. Is that the same minus tan, tan theta? Why? Because it is an odd function. So this thing is that the same minus tan inverse of what? Root 3. So my answer is now what? Minus 60. But if you look at minus 60, did not fall in, in the second quadrant. So what do you do? You make it to fall in the second from by using either 180 or 360 depending on what you can use but in this case i can use 180 so i'm having that theta should be what 180 minus 60 so what i'm having that theta is equal to 120 okay so this is my answer but let me ch change it to radian i will say 120 over what 180 times my pi okay because pi is 180 so if 180 cancel 180 if 180 cancel 180 i'm having bad mind so zero cancel zero 2 here 6, 2 here 9, 3 here 2, 3 here 3. So my answer is what? 2 pi over 3. Okay? So if you have gotten your r and your theta, you are done. So your z is equal to what? r in bracket of cos theta plus what? i sine theta. So what do you have? My r is what? 2 bracket cos 120 plus what? i sine 120. If you want to put it in terms of exponential, it's going to be what? 2 e raised to the power what? 120i. Okay? Then, you can equally put it in a in radian, which is 2 bracket what? Cos, cos 2 pi over 3 plus what? 
I sine 2 pi over 3, okay? Which is something like saying 2 e raised to power what? 2 pi over 3 i, okay? So anyone you see in the option is your answer. So let's get to the third quadrant. Let's get to the third quadrant, okay? For the third quadrant, I'm going to have that um, the question will now change to minus 1 minus root 3i. Okay, solution. The same thing, it doesn't change. You will tell them that z is equal to what? x plus i y, which means that x is equal to minus 1 and my y is equal to what? Minus root 3. Okay, to get my modulus, my modulus is what? Is equal to r, which is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared, which is what? The square root of minus 1 squared plus minus root 3 squared. So what am I having? The square root of 4, which is what? 2, which is equal to 2. Okay, because uh, minus 1 squared is 1 plus minus 3 squared. Square cancel square root. I'm, I'm left with 3. So 1 plus 3, 4. Square root of this is uh, 2. Okay. So the next thing we get is our argument. But before you get your argument, you must draw it to know where uh, the team fell, okay? To know what you are doing. So let us draw it first. If we draw it, if we draw it, when I have this is my plus y minus y plus x minus x. So I'm having um, minus one for x. So here is minus one. This is minus root three. Okay, so if both of them traced each other so they fell in the what in the third quadrant so anything i'm getting must be within 180 it must be greater than 180 but less than what 270 so so let me get what so i'm having a word that my argument is equal to theta which is equal to what uh tan tan inverse of y over x so let us get that if i'm getting that i'm going to have that what that my theta is equal to what? Tan inverse of my y is what? Minus root 3 all over minus 1. So if minus cancel minus, so my theta is just tan inverse of what? Root 3. So my theta is equal to what? 60. Now, but 60 degrees did not fall within that uh, range of third quadrants. 60 degrees is first quadrant. So what do we do? Remember, we don't use 270. We are supposed to say 270 minus D, but we don't use it. So we are going to say 180 plus the 60. So my theta will not give you um, 0. Uh, 8 plus this is, uh, is 14, 240 degrees. Okay? So that is that. So to change it in radian, it's going to do what? 240 degrees divided by 180 times what? Your pi. If pi 180 cancel this, you are, you are okay. So this take care of this. You now say that um, 2 into this is 12, 2 into this is 9, 3 into this is 4, 3 into this is 3. So my answer is what? 4 pi over 3. Okay? That is for radian. So my polar form, since you have gotten your argument and your modulus, you are done. The polar form Z is equal to what? R in bracket of cos theta plus what? I sine theta. So which is what? R is what? 2 in bracket of cos 240. Plus what? I sign 240. Okay? So what do we do now? Uh, what do we do? So, and don't forget that this thing is set as saying 2 e raised to power what? 240 i. Don't forget. So this is set as saying 2 in bracket of cos. Because your answer can be in radian. So 4 pi over 3. Plus what? I sign 4 pi over 3. So, which is set now saying 2 e raised to power 4 pi over 3 i. Okay? So, that is that. So, the last but not the least. Um, the last but not the least. Okay. So, the last but not the least, which is uh, number 4. Ah, did I clean the question? This is why marker is frustrating me. So, the last but not the least said that z is equal to... Um, minus which one okay one minus root three i okay so let's check this one so the same method it doesn't change so but we know that z is equal to what x plus what uh, y i 
which implies that what my x is one y my y is a minus root three okay so what do we do now uh, by the first thing we are getting is our modulus modulus our modulus is equal to r which is equal to what the square root of x squared plus y squared which is what the square root of uh, one squared plus minus root three squared so what am i getting square root of four which is what two okay that is my modulus but before you get your argument you must draw it to know where it will fall you must draw it to know where it will fall so if i draw it now i'm having this so this is my plus y minus y plus x minus x so my x is plus here plus one but my y is minus here minus root three so when they jump each other they are meeting at the fourth quadrant and anything that meets at fourth quadrant must be greater than 270 but less than 360 so i'm going to say that my argument okay so my argument my argument my argument which is equal to theta is equal to what the tan inverse of what y over x so what am i having that my theta is equal to what tan inverse of um uh one over minus root sorry sorry minus root three over one so my theta is equal to what the tan inverse of minus root three so tan is an odd function so the minus can come outside minus tan inverse of what root three so my answer becomes what uh minus 60. but if you look at this minus 60 is not in the fourth quadrant so what do i do i'm going to use 360 that is the only place we use 360 to work okay so when i say that what my theta should be what 360 minus that 60. so what do i have 300 degrees and 300 degrees is same as saying 300 times pi then divided by 180 okay to change it in radian zero cancel zero two here 15 two here nine three here five three here three so i'm having five pi over three so once you have gotten your your modulus and your your argument you are done so your z becomes what r in bracket of what cos theta plus i sine theta so what do you have now r is what two bracket what cos uh, 300 plus what? I sine 300. I sine 300. Which is something that say what? 2. E raised power what? 300 I. I hope you remember. Uh -huh. So you can as well put this one, which is something as what? 2 bracket what? Cos uh, 5 pi over 3 plus I sine 5 pi over 3. So which is equal to saying 2 e raised power what? 5 pi over 3 i. So that is that for polar form. Okay? So that is changing from Cartesian to polar form. So there is a question that can give, they can give you. They will say you should change from polar form to that Cartesian. Okay? Okay, let me give you a question on that. So, okay, in our next class, we will not do that, okay? Uh, thank you very much for watching, and God bless you.